Welcome to Mike and D versus the movies. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the trailer for Run All Night. Run All Night. Now, this stars uh, Liam Neeson. You know I'm a big Liam Neeson fan. I know you are. Liam the biggest Neeson. Liam Neeson fan ever. I'm so excited by So, him. the good news is that Liam Neeson is back. He's back, Mike. You can't keep him away. He never left. Liam Neeson. But apart from the great Liam Neeson, you've got Ed Harris and Harris. Joel Kinnaman. If I recall, was the new Robocop. Is that correct, Mike? That could be correct. That could be correct. Right. Sure. And <laughs> there's also a guy in it called Genesis Rodriguez. Genesis. Genesis. Real name. There you go. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yes, we have uh, Liam Neeson. He's back. Yes. We all know Liam Neeson from non-stop. Non-stop. He um, didn't stop, Mike. He didn't. He can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I will can't. always punch him. <laughs> All right. So, and of course, your favourite. Taken. 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 They tried to take stuff from him, Mike. Yeah. They can't take stuff. Can't him. take anything from Liam. It's impossible. It's his. Yeah. It's, it belongs to Liam. All of it. Yeah. It belongs to Liam. All of it. The only thing you can take from him is a what? punch. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. own. It's his. It's, it's already his. his. Yeah. He's already took it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just belongs to me. See that laptop you're watching is on. This <laughs> already is. Yeah. He's uh, outside careful. now. <laughs> he was, I want it back. <laughs> Give me my laptop. I'm very particular. Laptop. Laptop. I'm very particular laptop. <laughs> I'm very particular <laughs> set of laptops. <laughs> They're all belong to me. I will find you. I will take that laptop back. So, yes. Yes. So, I mean, from what I can surmise from the title, he will be running all night. He will be running. Which you know, is interesting. Really, if you've ever about, seen Liam Neeson run. Which no one has no. since about 1986 <laughs> when he was in Krull. Whenever you see that like in the films of Liam running, notice how it's always shot from behind or, or blurred out. Or just a pair of shoes running. <laughs> yes, a pair of shoes you, that could be worn by a dog. Yeah. Sometimes child. I don't think you even see them being attached to legs. I think it's just a pair of shoes. <laughs> just on tight. strings being dragged. Yeah, yeah. Well, being dragged along. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, I mean, look, if you leave Neeson, you don't need to run. Where, where who are you running from? Yeah, he's Neeson doesn't run he's, anywhere. I believe yeah. he's got one fist. He's got one fist. The, the punching Big fist. Irish fist. There's one for punching and this one, I think, for guns. No, that's for taking. Ah, for taking, taking stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> taking <laughs> your life with my fist. <laughs> Go right. But anyway, so we digress. Yeah, the plot, Mike. So what's the, the plot? plot? Okay, basically, um, Liam Neeson is, um, Got to save the life of his son mm-hmm. after his boss's son was about to kill his son. So, you know, yeah. not I, I complicated think, yes. in any way. I think Liam Neeson is an aging hitman, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And in some sort of downtown area could be Boston yeah, or something. Baltimore, like that. that kind of yeah. area. Uh, and um, for whatever reason... His, his boss is Ed Harris, by the way. Yeah, him. his boss is Ed Harris. And his boss's son... Decides for some reason he's going to try and kill Liam Neeson's son. And obviously, it's Liam Neeson's son. If there was the, a worse person to try and kill, I don't know who it is. Don't try and kill Liam Neeson's son. Yeah. Because obviously... If anyone's going to kill my son, it's me. <laughs> it's going to be me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll take his life. <laughs> <laughs> After I take everyone else's first. But he, he does obviously... Uh, essentially, that's what happens in the film. Everybody tries to kill Liam Neeson's son. And Liam Neeson just kills them instead, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, essentially, so, run all night. I mean, in the trailer... As you'll see when you check out the link later on, which we'll show you. Don't care. All right. Um, Liam Neeson's like, just one night, son. Just one. That's right. All we, all we have to do is run. Run, run all night. night. Run all night. Yeah. For one night. For one only. Night. Only. only. Running. All right. So, um, obviously him and his son have this sort of love-hate relationship, which will probably be mending at the end. Yeah. By it's, a, it's local... a bonding experience. It's a bonding it's experience. It's like a, a father-son journey. Like, like they went camping, but only with monsters Money. and gangsters and people who want to kill them all night yes so uh, he's obviously got a gun and he's a yeah. crack shot you know? <laughs> and yes and there was it's, there's actually a scene where I think he throws a police car into a shop I mean not literally but then again I don't know maybe he does he does but well he's throwing something and then there's a police car going into a shop yeah so I can so, only assume Lee Neeson is throwing a police yeah. car into a shop so basically Ed House is his boss they go yeah. back a long way you have always been a good worker Jack yeah, I'm not sure if that's his name, but it's that <laughs> yeah, sort it's of wrong. thing. Jack Punchington. Yeah, and so, Liam Neeson phones up his boss and says, "I killed your son. I had killed my son. That's so, it. you know, 
All right. So essentially, that's what happens. And uh, Ed Harris is like, well, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to look into your dead eyes. And then, you know, you'll be dead. You'll be and, dead. Yeah. So great script. Yeah, at least your eyes will be. Yeah. You're dead. And then I'm going to kill you. Okay. All right. Yes. Don't know how that works, but yeah, his eyes will be dead before he will. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, essentially that's what's going on. And um, Liam Neeson's going to run all night. Run all night. With his son. And, yeah, and Ed Harris is going to try and kill him, his son, and anyone else that Liam Neeson knows or is related to or accidentally bumps into or lends money off of or knew yeah. in school. Or, or a scene. Sat on yeah. a bus next to that kind of, you know, just a mess. Yeah, your family's family, and then their family, <laughs> yes. and then their cat's family, and their family. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. angry. Is is he's upset. the point? Yeah, yeah, he wants revenge. Uh, so yeah, so essentially, that's that is the film. That's what you you're gonna be getting for your um, seventeen pound fifty. How much it, a movie ticket costs wherever you are? Yeah. It's a film that doesn't pretend to be anything else apart from Liam Neeson punching, killing, doing doing what he does best. And I mean, he's look, good at killing people. He knows his strengths in film. Yes, yes, let's hope. You know, I mean, but to be honest, he's probably learned a few things from those films. I would have thought so. From all those stuntmen, except for the running. The running, there's only so much you can learn. I think his running days are behind him. You know, he's moved from running to punching. Now that's it. He runs on his fists. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, I guess what we should be doing is, um, giving it our Michael D score. Mm -hmm. So, um, out of 10, Liam Neeson, we know you're a fan, D. I would like you to share with our viewers your score. Ten. Uh, ten. What? Ten. Ten. What, just because he's Liam Neeson? Because it's Liam Neeson. It's ten. Listen, you go and see a Liam Neeson film, you know what you're getting. And he delivers. Exactly. That's what I want. You know, I want to see Liam Neeson punching people with a giant Irish fist. And that's what I'm going to get. You know, he's not stopping. He's going to go all night. He's going to run all night. I mean, I'll give you that. It's going to be amazing. It's. I mean, be... I, I'm I'm basing this off the trailer, and the trailer says to me it's going to be awesome. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it. I mean, I'm not as great a fan. I don't think anyone can be as great a fan as you. <laughs> see why I'm you wouldn't really, be? It's, it's, it's the film's got it all, Mike. It's, it's all in there. Yeah, all of Liam Neeson. Guns, fists, Liam Neeson. I, it's like the perfect storm, as far as I'm concerned. It is. It need it to is. be anything else. Raining Liam, Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> that's a terrifying fist. <laughs> <That's a terrifying laughs> is fist. Yeah. No matter where you go, wherever you look, you know, good I'm luck there. finding an umbrella in that yeah. storm. Yeah. Special type storm of rain is coming. <laughs> Special type of rain. Special type of storm. Irish rain. That's that should be the the title of his that's, next film. That is the title. That's oh. that's the title of his um, of his autobiography. I believe. <laughs> Irish rain. Irish rain. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Just Punch a picture of him doing like, this. That's been yeah. put this way. Don't invite Liam Neeson to your house. <laughs> oh, don't upset him. And definitely yeah. don't try and take anything. Yeah. Man. Don't That's get a picture ridiculous. of him with your baby. You'll punch him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is your baby. It's that same with music yeah. on his face. Like, I thought you wanted this. Yeah. You know? Even if you don't want it. <laughs> right, no, anyway. It's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, you know something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When it's out to remove his fist from their faces. <laughs> yes. But anyway, no, I'm going to give uh, my score. I'm going to give it about uh, 8 out of 10. I, I would think I would be fully engaged throughout the movie. Um, how can you get bored of Liam Neeson punching people and killing them it's and killing them? Yeah, again. And then telling them and about how he's going to kill them. Yes. All right. So, yeah. But I'm expecting a quite a predictable ending. I'm expecting that there'll be some sort of noble death. There's going to be a showdown, Mike. Yeah, between him and Ed Harris. Well, he's going to win that fight. Good right? No, no. I, don't, Ed Har- I could be I Ed Harris. I don't think Ed Harris is the kind of character who's going to fight in one way. He's going to have like a big henchman that's going to, you know, you have that epic fight scene. He'll be smashing through furniture and walls. Yeah, and He'll probably die, fall off a building or something. Yeah, it's going to be like one of those kind of really gruesome deaths where they're, you think Liam Neeson's going to get stabbed or something and then he turns it around and sticks something through his throat or Breaks his, his neck, or yeah, he sticks his fist through his throat <laughs> and breaks his neck. Yeah, that would be awesome with his other fist. <laughs> yes. <right>. So he <laughs> essentially right. just turns him into a glove puppet and just yeah. works. It. I told you, I gotta protect my family. <laughs> All right. So um, essentially, um, that's what's gonna happen in the film. Yeah. We think. But what we'd like you to do is, if you could, is um, email us. We'll give you the link. Um, probably somewhere. Yeah, yes. somewhere. Somewhere. It's always down there. Alright. And, um, yeah. And 
give us a bit of feedback and let us know how accurate we work. We haven't yeah. actually seen the films yet, so no. we want to see how predictable this movie is. Yeah. I believe it's going to be quite predictable. And he thinks it's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It is. I mean, uh, what I would like is uh, for viewers to put in their predictions of what you think would happen in this film. I mean, I'm predicting that someone, maybe Ed Harris, is going to die by falling from a really great height, you know, getting chucked off the top of a building, but there's going to be like one of those kind of, Okay, there'll be that. Kind of oh, that that's a possibility. Yeah. I reckon he'll get shot in the chest and he'll fall and then like he'll get run like over a, by a train or something. <laughs> it'll be like a multiple death, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Shot, fall to his death, explosion. Yeah. yeah. Blow it strapped to a Liam Neeson will be somewhat injured, injured but not mortally injured. No. He'll he'll be doing some kind of a limp, but he'll still be able to punch people. Yeah. He may be holding his arm like this at one point. Yeah. And then him and his son will have some sort of hug, embrace. Yeah. You know, that sort of man, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, because right, there's going to be a point where his son gets caught by Ed Harris and he's got a, one of them kind of ultimatums. Oh, well, you've got to, got to come here if you want your son back. But he knows if he comes, he's going to be... That's it. That's, that's the it. one. That's what's yeah. going to happen. Despite so, the fact that he wanted to kill his son. But <laughs> we'll say, ignore that. All of a sudden, ignore he doesn't want to kill his son. He wants Liam to come so he can kill him. Yeah. In I front of the son, son die. or vice versa. And then I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you and then kill him. You're both going to watch each other die and then you're both going to be dead. But I'll be killing both of you at the same time. And, and then I'll win and you'll be dead. And you'll see it. Yeah, so I'll be happy after. <laughs> we all worth My one. son's death will be worth. <laughs> he'll be, he'll, he'll right. be fine. He'll be happy with that. So, yeah. So, and uh, yeah. what I reckon is that, you know, Liam Neeson won't die at the end. And, um, you know, there'll be a respect level established between the two. And, um, Liam Neeson will have to like leave and say, you know, I love your son. And he'll be like, yeah, I love you too, dad. Yeah. I thought you were a bad evil man. <laughs> really? You got a good heart. And I've then, learned. I've learned from, from my mistakes. I was wrong about you, Dad. Yeah. And then Liam Neeson will follow you. I've got to run, son. I've got to run more. And then you'll I've see, got to hold and then the, the, the shoes. <laughs> and, uh, attached to a shoe, they saw some sticks, pencils, probably. Just falling down some stairs with the illusion <laughs> of movement. Yeah. yeah. And that will be the end of the film. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, that is our slightly prolonged review. Well, run on, mate. Right. All right. Liam Neeson. Yep. Also, incidentally, the director also directed a, no- a number of other movies. Yeah, uh, non-stop, non-stop punching. Yeah, right. and, and uh, unknown, unknown, unknown. Yeah, yeah. You'll so, never know where this punch is coming from. <laughs> you don't know who it came from, right. where it's going. Yeah, but you'll know when it hits, or will you? It'll be unknown. It was. It was <laughs> didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so yeah, we digress. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's goodbye from Mike and D's. Uh, of the movies. Yes. So we'll see you next time. All right.